Hi, um, I'm making this short video today um, because something a bit bizarre happened to me. Um, the Olympic torch came through uh, my village today and um, there was um, quite a few policemen around and some people wearing um, combats, khaki combats, which um, I suppose they must have belonged to the army or something. Um, and um, if you've seen any of my other blogs um, that I've done, um, I always check my um, water meter before I leave my flat um, because otherwise um, my water bills get really high for no reason cause, and I don't use much water. So, um, so this is what I did today. I left my flat and checked my water meter. I didn't realise that the Olympic torch was coming through. And um, so I was just checking my um, water meter, which is under a manhole cover in the pavement. And uh, this policeman comes up and starts asking me what I'm doing. And I told him I was checking my water meter. And um, everything seemed okay, and I just walked away. Um, but what I didn't realise was that he was following me. And he followed me to my car. And um, unfortunately, I didn't film the second part, what happened then because um, my I'd already turned my camera off and it was in my car and um anyway he stuck he came up to me and he was like because um, I was um just put my bags in the back on the back seat and he was like um asked me again why I was checking my water meter um and I told him and I told him that I was a victim of community harassment and um organized stalking and then he started asking me for my details, my name and stuff. And I gave this information to him because I thought um, I thought he was actually interested. I thought he was going to help me. But that wasn't it at all. <laughs> he um, he asked to search my car. And um, I was like, why? And uh, he explained that, you know, I'd been crouching down on the floor and I looked suspicious. And um, he had to check my car. So he searched my car. And, you know, of course he didn't find anything. And then he took my driver's licence. And then he called his friend up on his uh, phone. And was asking him to run some checks on me. Um, and it was all very bizarre. All this just because I was reading my water meter. Um, and uh, when I told him about um, that I get followed and I get harassed by people... Um, I also told him about my YouTube channel where I post some of this stuff, thinking that, you know, he might go there and um, check it out. But when he was on the phone to his mate, he was saying, yeah, she posts stuff to YouTube, as if this was like some indication that I was, a, you know, involved in some kind of criminal activity. And oh God, it was just all really weird. And... Um, I wanted, I, I kept thinking I should get my um, camera out of the car and start filming, but um, I don't I don't really know anything um, about the law when it comes to filming police, although I think I've seen on the news that um, you can't, um, but I'll have to check that out because, you know, it happens to me again, you know, um, I want it on film. Um, I mean, he wasn't, like, aggressive or anything, you know. He obviously thought he was doing his job. But he was just, you know, totally paranoid. <laughs> he was just totally over the top. I mean, well, it was over the top. They had so many police and army people there. I mean, it's just... It's just crazy. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, I've put at the end of this... i put at the end of this the piece of film that I did shoot while I was um, checking my water meter because I always leave the camera on the floor so I can see you know what's going on around me afterwards um, so you can you don't actually see him on the film you just hear his voice and you see a bit of his leg but that's it because I don't he didn't realize that I was filming I don't think or that the camera was on so um, yeah which was I suppose a bit of good luck um,
okay? Yeah, I'm checking my water meter. Okay. Oh, right. Otherwise, my water bill goes up mysteriously. Right. 